Hello, this is Spookalot here, and this is a reading of the top percentage. The story will be down in the description. When I first bought it, I played Soul Silver obsessively for weeks. I loved everything, the Pokemon, the people, and the storyline. My beloved team consisted of Meganium, Espeon, Mischievous, Ampharos, Vulpix, and Poliwhirl. I loved them all dearly, and thanks to my Pokewalker, I leveled them up all so easily. Another source of amusement for me was the Pokegear. I loved that, po that people you had met could ring you up and request a battle. I just rattle on about nothing. My favorite of the regular callers was, of course, the infamous Jelly. Hey, you know my super cool Rattata. My Rattata is different from regular Rattata. It's like my Rattata is the top percentage of all Rattata. You know what I'm saying? He'd say, he always say. Then one day, he called me for a battle. Well, this was new. He never asked for a rematch before. As I remembered, he only had a Rattata. Suspecting that his Rattata had maybe risen a few levels, I traveled back to where Joey stood. I've been waiting, the text read. Wait until you see how much my Rattata, my Rattata has changed. The battle music started and the screen split. To my surprise, Rattata had become a Raticate. I couldn't put my finger on it, but there was something different about its claws. They were yellow and had a brick pattern, like they belonged to another Pokemon, but at the time, I didn't give it much thought. As I expected, Joey's Raticate, Raticate had grown to level 30. I sent out Espeon. Raticate attacked first. It used Dig. That was strange. I didn't think Raticate, uh, Raticate could learn Dig. Anyway, it was no match for my Espeon, who creamed him with Psychic. Raticate fell with a scrambled cry that was different to how I remembered it, but again, I didn't think much of it. The screen returns to the overworld. Oh, alright. Joey text read. But I won't lose to you again. Rattata will become strong will become stronger next time we meet, and hands it me an iron. I giggled. Joey was still calling his Rattata, his Raticate Rattata. It was a few days later, I had beaten the final gym before the Elite Four, and I was about to head to Victory Road. When I got a call from Joey, he wants to battle again. I thought it'd be some okay experience, so I flew back to Route, to Route 30 and talked to Joey. The battle started, and this time, I knew something was horribly wrong. Raticate was sporting an orange, fiery tail, like that of a Rapidash. In addition, the areas around its new tail was a purplish-red color, like it was bruised or bleeding. And I could see the grotesque stitching holding the tail on. What had Joey done to it? It was like he sewed on a Rapidash tail onto a Raticate. When Raticate used Flamethrower, I realized with horror that was exactly what he had done. Raticate had a scrambled noise. It sounded like it was in pain. Raticate was hurt, the text read. The Raticate's health went down by a quarter. Flamethrower didn't affect the user, so I was confused until I realized that Raticate was not used to using fire attacks, and its body was being damaged by the foreign attack type. I didn't want to hurt the Raticate further, but I had to. I sent out Poliwhirl and, it was, and used Surf. It was super effective, and Raticate fainted. When we returned to the overworld, Joey said, And yet another loss. No doubt about it. You're tough, but being beaten this often actually feels good now. Still, I sure wish Raticate was stronger. It's a Raticate! I screamed at the DS. Stop calling it that! Stop hurting that! Joey, of course, didn't hear me. Instead, he gave me an iron. I promised myself that I would never battle Joey again even if he called. A couple of weeks passed and I had entered the Kanto region. I had forgotten about Joey when I received his calls. Inviting me to battle, I ignored it and continued down Route 5. A few steps, however, a few steps, however, he called me again. This time, when I picked up, I heard Raticate's cry. Where aren't you going? Route 30 is the other way. I shrieked and threw my DS away from me. It clattered on the floor and stayed there. After I had broken it, I picked it up again for a few minutes. It hadn't, so I continued playing. No matter where I tried to go, I would only go a few steps because Joey called me with the same freaky message. I decided to face the music and battle him. Stealing myself for what I might see, I entered the battle. Raticate had a pair of white-blue wings attached to, eat to his sides, as well as a Rapidash tail, maybe from a Pelipper. The area around where the wings were stitched on the hor were horribly messy and red. Raticate went first and used waterfalls. It was hardly harmed to with my mischievous, but the words Raticate was hurt flashed across the screen, and it took a third of its health. I took the rest with Psybeam. 
I got called back two more times during that month, and each time the attacks it used, Electric Shock and Razor Leaf, would take off more of its health until I knew the next time we fought, I wouldn't have to attack at all. When he did call me, I knew I couldn't escape, so I just went along with it. By now, Raticate was so gory and full of stitches that I could hardly recognize it. I felt like crying. Raticate was now, ra now wore an obi-like sash around its waist, and its eyes were blue, it had a purplish hue around them. I had no idea what new Pokemon had died to disfigure the damned Raticate further, but I didn't. I decided it didn't matter. Raticate used Ice Speed. This did a surprising amount of damage to my Ampharos, but as I suspected, the damage took uh, Raticate took depleted its health bar completely. Raticate let out anguish yowl and, dis and disappeared from the screen. Expecting to see the words Raticate faint it, I was shocked and horrified to read the words Raticate has died. Instead, I stared at the screen. Dead? Raticate can't be dead. You can't die in a Pokemon game. That's how, not how this works. Joey said something different too. Ratata, what, what's wrong? When I tried to talk to him again, nothing happened. Thoroughly spooked, I left for the Kanto region. I went through. I wanted another. Uh, nothing more to do. Oh, nothing more to figure that incident. I was convinced that I would never have to battle Joey again. His only Pokemon had apparently died. I was wrong. I was just about to enter Mount Silver when I got a call. I swore when I saw it was Joey. What more could he do with our dead Raticate? Knowing it was useless to ignore the call, I flew all the way back to where he stood. For some reason, his sprite had changed. I couldn't see what it was because the sprite was, so, it was too small. I also noticed that his trainer used to stand next to Joey was nowhere to be seen. I talked to Joey again. The text read, I have become Radicta and become much stronger. Are you ready? The battle began. I almost threw up. Joey, or what was left of him, stood in place where ra his Raticate his radica uh, once stood. His hair was matted with blood, and his face horribly disfigured by his new buck teeth, furry body, and mangled claws. The stitches holding his body together were badly sewed, and every time his nose twitched, a, a fresh drop of blood fell from the tip of his snout. Joey had sewn parts he had hacked off, his ra off Raticate into himself. The image was so terrifying, so horrible that I couldn't I could barely look at him. Joey used Hyperfang, the attack hit my Ampharos, but did shit all damage. Joey's eight health went down one fifth. It was my turn to attack. I used Thunder, hoping I get lucky on my first try. However, a text box appeared on the screen. Ampharos is too terrified to move. I cursed. Joey attacked again, this time with Crunch. This did a lot more damage. More than half of Ampharos' health was gone. Joey's health depleted a little more. When I tried to attack, Ampharos was again too terrified to move. Hoping I could wait it out until he kills himself, I mashed the A button. Joey used Crunch again, and Ampharos' health bar ran out and he fainted. I brought out Mischievous so it wouldn't be affected by any normal time moves. This turned out to be a good move, as Joey used Double Edge. Mischievous was unaffected. Joey was hurt. There was an ungodly cry as Joey fell from the screen. Joey has died! My player was sent back to the over overworld. Joey's mangled sprite was in front of me. Radicate features still visible. I realized that I was silently crying, my tears splattering on the touchpad. In a state of shock, I stood there, not moving, for a full five minutes. I was unable to draw a coherent thought into my mind. Eventually, I brought my Ampharos to the Pokemon Center. When the nurse gave him back, he, she said, Whatever happened to this Pokemon, don't let it happen again. From then on, Ampharos could never fight Eradicate again. He would always be too terrified to move. I don't know why I headed back to where Joey once stood. I just felt I had to. When I arrived, Joey was nowhere to be seen. And his place was an item. I picked it up. And it was nine. The end. <sighs> so, anyway, folks, if you did enjoy this little uh, creepy pasta reading, we're gonna be doing these throughout October, every Saturday. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure you go swipe that like button. It shows you appreciate the content. You want to see more? And folks, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, go hit that subscribe button too. Other than that, 
I'm Spookalai, and I think it's time we say goodbye. Goodbye, folks, and stay spooky.